Last year tied for first in the lineup with 11 runs batted in. Led the team with three homers. And he sends a high deep drive into center. Richardson going back, still back, looking up and it's gone. Chris Brito in his first at bat of the year sends it over the batter's eye in center field here at U.S. Bank Stadium. Rutgers on top, 1-0. And he is excited. Can you blame him? Falls behind 0-1. And, and he swings at this one. And this one is cracked into deep center field. Bertrand looks up. And goodbye baseball, says Brito. It's the second grand slam of the ball game for the Scarlet Knights to make it an 8-1 lead. Brito hit a solo homer out to center yesterday. This one hit even better. Rutgers leading one to nothing. Here's the delivery into the air down the right field line. This could be trouble if it lands in and does. One run will score, two runs will score, and three runs will score, and it's now four to nothing. Here's the pitch, ground ball. Brito will backhand it. His only play will be over to first. He does get bash out. The run comes home to score, however. Into the air, into right field, and deep. Simington back at the wall. This is out of here. A grand slam. Now Brito hits a grand slam over the 368 sign in right center field. And Rutgers now leads. Fourteen to two. This one's cracked out to right center. Jackson is back. He looks up. That one's gone. Rutgers finds its first hit today. It is a long one. Chris Brito goes yard, and Rutgers is on the scoreboard. Brito admired that one a little bit. A great swing on the ball. You mentioned before, Don, we've seen a couple no-doubters today, but at this field, a lot of these fly balls will carry, and Brito got enough of that one. Carried over the uh, over the right center field wall into the trees. That shows you how good the lineup is. And now Chris Brito gets a hold of one to left center. Same spot and it's the same results. Chris Brito goes yard. Rutgers has two dingers here in the second. Definitely keep Minnesota on their toes as Brito chips one out into right field. That's gonna drop in for a base hit. Here comes the Giorgio, he's gonna stroll on in home. And Brito's in with a stand-up double. It is eight to two. Rutgers extends the lead. In the sixth. That pitch is lifted high and deep into left center field over his chick. And he'll run out of room again. Another home run. This time it's Chris Brito into the Berman Center. Yeah, and it's just a hit parade now for the Scarlet Knights. That's their third home run of the game. And uh, just keep pouring it on uh, are the Scarlet Knights here with it now a seven spot in the seventh inning. We were talking about how, or I was saying at least, how Nebraska's bullpen I thought did a really good job. Brockett, Jackson Brockett had a really good outing, uh, but everyone since, you know, has struggled and some really good power swings from the Scarlet Knights. Steps in, he did some damage in the seventh and he'll do some more here as that one is way out of here into the right field bullpen. That his second home run of the day. We'll make it 19 to one Scarlet Knights. It's just the same thing they've been doing all afternoon. 2-1. That's a shot back to first by Brito. Steps on the bag, it's a double play. What a play by Chris Brito. Fields it in the air, puts the glove down on the first base bag, an unassisted double play to end the inning. Chris Burrito flashing the lead. They can't really run, but Smil Smil likes to run. He hit this one on a line to left field, and this one's going to get down for Brito. DeGiorgio coming around third. He scores. Smilo coming around third all the way from first, and he's going to score. So a two RBI double from Chris Brito to smash that lead. And that one is crushed high in the air for Brito. It looks like the left fielder is gonna have time to get under it, and it's out of here. It hit the wall, and I think it went out. 
That was a really weird play. The left fielder, Jesse, was tracking that ball, and it just kept on going. He hit that one high in the air, and I think the wind really played a part in that and took it out. Question: Do you try to stretch him? He opted to go to the bullpen, and it is hurting them. Look out, deep center field. It bounces off the wall. One run scores. Another one comes home. It's a booming two-run double for Chris Brito. Nobody aboard. Everthier's pitch, and Brito sends it into left center. Lipsy back to the track, to the wall. Tell it goodbye. Yes, Brito had to touch first. It's a home run. Four to two, Rutgers lead it. And this is not what Ohio State needed to give up one here. They've still got time. But against the number one team, you never, number one team in the conference, I should say, you never want to get an RBI is a good indication of why he's considered a good pro prospect. Barreled up to deep center field. Kern going back, and he'll watch it hit off the screen. The second time today for Rutgers, and the third time in this game overall. Back-to-back -back home runs. Brito drills one to center, and this home run derby continues. It's now 11-8. Well, you described it as batting practice, and that's that's really with the big lead. As Burrito hammers this to center, Rutgers trying to get one out of here. A lean eases up. There it is. Chris Burrito puts Rutgers on the scoreboard. A two-run shot to dead center field. And that was the fastball. As soon as I saw Burrito hit it, I was thinking, wow, that's a Rutgers hitter that just got around in the fastball. Uh, in, in this lineup, uh, similar to the Maryland lineup, uh, just punishes fastballs that it gets. And Ramsey has kept Rutgers off balance throughout the course of the day. But this Rutgers offense is too good to be held down uh, uh, for very long. And he hammers this one high in the sky to left center field. Aline is back at the fence. There's another one. Chris Brito goes deep against the Terps once again. And just like that, the ball game's tied at one. In seven career games, it's seven home runs against Maryland. Simple. The course of fall baseball. Oh, this one's hammered. Left center field. See you later. Oh, it wouldn't have been senior day without a Brito bomb. There it is. Seven nothing, Scarlet Knights. Yeah, Brito just gets a straight fastball here. He doesn't miss it. We got one up in the beer gardens today. Top five all time, I think you said, Dom, right? Rutgers home. Ground ball left side. He might have just tied it. One run is in. They're going to try for two. Yes, it's four to nothing, and Chris Brito has just tied the Rutgers single season record with 72 runs driven in on the season. In the league this year, Brito was third team all Big Ten. And that's passed fine again into left field. Two more coming home for Rutgers. Chris Brito with RBIs number 73 and 74, and it's 14 to 2. Scarlet Knights. Well, they continue to pour it on and bat around in this inning. This ball hammered through the left side. It's a fastball on the other part of the plate. The Scarlet Knights continue the offensive onslaught. Program record for him with 73 and 74. Defense wants to keep it going. And Chris Brito does exactly that. Goodbye, baseball. It's a long home run. Brito tees off. This one was absolutely demolished by Chris Brito. You can't ask for any more than that. Fifth home run of the season. Carries along what's now a five-game hit streak. Three homers in this game for Rutgers. Things were not going their way in terms of traffic on the bases. Weren't getting any base runners. Well, about three home runs to cut into a 7 nothing lead. Yeah, you know, two days in a row, Michigan's pitcher doesn't look like they've had good feel for their off speed to start. Burrito hits one in the air. That's back towards right field. Velasquez going back for it, and it is gone! 
It's a grand slam for Chris Brito, and it's 4 nothing Rutgers in the first inning. Great job by Rito there. He got a fastball in the outer half, deposited in the duck ponds. Same ball that was hit last night. It stayed in last night, went way out of here today. Chris Brito, we mentioned the power hitting numbers for him. That was well overdue. For He's hit to get Rutgers on the board in the first inning. It shoots one down the left field line, hooking and a fair ball. It'll one half the wall and get the Scarlet Knights on the board. An RBI double from Chris Brito. And you said a base hit to get them on board, Max. How about a double? Chris Brito bringing Kuroda Grauer around, not only scoring Rutgers' first run, his 200th hit of his career, Hitchin with no outs. 2-2 Two -two is crushed. Deep out towards left field on its way and gone. Chris Brito's eighth home run of the season gives Rutgers a 3 0 lead. Yeah, there's really no doubt about that one, Max. Chris Brito got absolutely all of that. Wouldn't have mattered in the end if Ryan Lasko had stolen second or not. Crushes this one out to left center field. Can't blame Kevin Ferrer for pulling up. Not really going to have a chance. Brito absolutely smashes that ball. The fifth inning. And he belts another one way back towards left field and gone again. Who needs a cycle? Needed the triple instead, doubles up on the long ball. 7 1 Rutgers. I mean, this is absolutely ridiculous from Chris Brito. Gets all of this, smashes it out. Kevin Ferrer does a little bit more to try and get out there, but no shot, absolutely no shot. What a day Chris Brito has had two bombs. So since he got thrown out at home in the third. Oh. That one is crushed, left field. Ferrer is looking back, it's off the wall. Lasko will round third, he's gonna score easily. Brito is on the way to second, and he's got his third double of the game. Another run comes across for Rutgers, it's now a 9-2. It's picking up, the 1-2. Brito hits a bomb into left field. Off the wall. Slate's gonna come around, throw to the plate. Safe at home plate, Slate wheeling. Crafts the 200 career hit mark a few weeks ago. And smashes this to left field. Kelly gives up on it. It's long gone. A record tying, bases clearing, Brito bomb. It's a grand slam for the super senior. And the Scarlet Knights bust the game open in the sixth. We know this is a rivalry, Dom, because Chris Brito gave a nice long look into the Penn State dugout, and that's got to feel good on so many levels. Ties Todd Frazier's record. It's a grand slam. It busts the game open. And oh, yeah, it's again. Lovett missed inside, and they appeal down to first, and he did not swing. Brito walked and scored in the first, grounded out in the second. And he takes Lundsman deep to left center field. Did he get it? He did! Chris Brito has broken the all-time Rutgers home run record. He surpasses Todd Frazier, the Todd father. And he stands alone with 43 home runs, a new all-time program record. What a moment for the Perth Amboy New Jersey native. And with that big fly, he puts Rutgers up 7-2. Oh, that's a swing, he'll never. Runs driven in, that's tied for the program best. And he light slices this to center field. McDonald gives chase, backs up, but that's gonna get the job done as Josh Carota Grauer trots home to score. And once again, Chris Brito has put himself at the top of a Rutgers record. 192 runs driven in. That's the most in Rutgers baseball history. You see it right there, 192. Brito broke. 
is breaking records, it feels like constantly. The pitch. Brito bombs it down the line. It stays fair, and that ball is long, long gone. A Brito bomb back to the Fred Hill complex. Rutgers back within three. Dan Hartlib choosing to let his starter go out there for another inning. And Brito making them pay for the decision. A towering shot to left field. The two-run blast off the bat of Jake Perry and the bunt is to third and Brito with a smart play and they're gonna turn a double play. That was a smart play by the veteran Chris Brito at third to let it drop and they get two out of that. Just a terrible mistake by Jake Larson there, just not a good bunt at all. Could have easily been a pop-up, but Brito, the veteran third baseman, noticed that Larson didn't run hard out of the box, lets it drop, gets a lead out at second, and also the double plays turned. Look at Larson just jog out of the ba uh, box there, thinking that Brito's gonna catch his bunt. And obviously the, the tables have been, and Rector certainly took advantage of that. Brito slams this to deep left center field. Back is Boston Merrill. He'll turn and that ball is way out of here for a two run shot here at the top of the first. And Chris Brito strikes here this afternoon. It's two nothing Rutgers. Yeah, just a hanging breaking pitch that he reached out for. Last night he hit one off the end of the bat to the warning track. And this one he hit to Washington County over in St. Paul. I mean, that was a bomb way out of here. There's a Here's look a at it. Yeah, sorry. Yeah, just got fully extended and he launched it. Uh, warm air today, the ball carries well. As you said, Dom, slight breeze and Rutgers jumps out to a quick 2-0 lead in the first inning. 14th home run of the season. You run home run here in the seventh. This is in the gap to left center field. Another run will score for Rutgers as the throw goes to second base. It's late, Chris Brito. Knocks in another run here for the Rutgers Scarlet Knights. 